With the presidential debates finally underway, the conversation that has and will dominate this election is clear, and that is the legality the candidates exude. The media and the Democrats, but I repeat myself, have spent so much time in this cycle pushing the idea that, we're all want, that we all want the same things, and we just have different ways of getting there. That politics should be uniting, and that the thing that should be united around, of course, is their platform. As with most problems of softness in American politics, the Republicans have their fair share of the blame. So much of the last few election cycles before 2016, the Republicans made hay by appealing to our better political nature, all the while kowtowing to the left agenda at every given opportunity. Now that the tables have turned, however, and the Republicans don't have a leader that is going to pull punches, it has only become clearer what all of this fake niceness and compromise has been used to achieve, and that is the dissolution of traditional American governance in favor of a practical one-party state. This is best exemplified in the compromises that the right has gotten from the left in recent years. Time after time, the left would propose something radical, the Republicans would be outraged by it, and the left would then move back half a step, and the Republicans would declare victory as though they had won when truly the left had only gained ground. This game has been played so many times, and has history going back to the 1930s with the New Deal programs, and yet it has taken Republicans almost a century to finally fight back against these tactics, mostly due to the people who were in charge of the party in the meantime, you know, John McCain and the like. All of this has also coincided with the deifying of the office of president, with events like the Telephi State of the Union address only adding fuel to the fire. The culture surrounding all of this is a disengaged electorate which doesn't see the value in having a meaningful choice for political offices. The public has regarded politics as something with dignity and as, and as something for the smartest people in society to come together to, to decide exactly how to control your life rather than a dirty battle for the most shrewd people in society to figure out how to get you to vote for them. The latter representation is always a more accurate depiction of politics and history than the former, and yet people still seem to hold to the illusion that politics could be anything but what it is. This sort of illusion is dangerous because it leaves an opening for the shrewd to take advantage of, and allows you to vote for things that in a more clear circumstance you would be vehemently against. This is why an active electorate is so important, and why pet solutions like term limits and, the th and a third party, while not necessarily bad and may even be value adds to the political system, cannot be the primary solution to any of the problems we have in the political system at the moment. As for my suggestions, I think that we should drop the pretenses and hash it out like adults. The prolific suggestion that everyone in society has the same interests has caught on the youth into believing that if only their particular political interests got into place, that everyone would be happy. After all, we're all after the same thing, right?